Thanks to the announcement from Fantasy Flight Games, we're seeing a ton of wild price changes with Star Wars Unlimited. It could also be that the game is really awesome. That that might have an effect too. But I've been tracking prices since last week, and I, I plan to continue to do so every week just to see where we stand as we're learning about what happens with set one. Now, first up, let's take a look at the legendaries. I'm not going to track the commons and uncommons. There's just way too much to do, but we'll break it up by legendaries and rares. And these are because I'm mostly concerned about, can I build a deck? I'm concerned with just the base playable version. I don't care about foils. I don't care about hyperspace. I don't care about showcases. I want to know, can I get a card? Can I sleeve it up? Can I shuffle it up and play a game? That's all that matters. So in this particular case, we're looking at the legendaries, and that's a lot of green, a lot of northward price movement. Now, a lot of them, you kind of expect Darth Vader is holding, uh, Boba Fett is holding, those sort of things. But we're seeing an increase across the board, including a lot in terms of the double command cards. Those have been getting a lot of press lately. I guess you can thank all the content creators for making them so popular. Or maybe just everybody's coming around to the idea. But either way... Yeah, these cards are getting pricier and pricier. Now, moving from there, we do have a little bit different of a situation with the quote-unquote plain rares. Now, this is sorted by the percentage change, but as you can see, the prices aren't necessarily all that damaging to your wallet, at least compared to certainly the legendaries. For the most part, the rares are generally fairly affordable. There are, of course, some exceptions in the sense of like K2SO or maybe Red 3. And even there, when we get, as we scroll down towards the things that are actually decreasing in price, believe it or not, there are things like Ewing reinforcement, which is, you know, hovering around the $9, $10 range. And that's kind of expected. There's a lot of decks that want these things. Of course, it's a simple supply and demand equation, but it is interesting that some of these rares are actually losing value despite still showing up in a variety of decks so that's it that's just a quick peek at the prices let me know what you want to see for these i want to be tracking this i'm going to be doing it anyway so i figured i'd throw some videos together to talk about it as i mentioned i'm more concerned with playing the game I want to be able to build whatever I want to be able to build at the moment, whether it's with specific characters or it's for specific strategies or whatever, because I plan to attend as many of the store championships and all of these other tournaments that I possibly can. But like I said, let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see. That's going to do it for this time. So as always, everybody, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and tune in next time for more random slots.